Adenosine triphosphate, Wikipedia article audio. Adenosine triphosphate is a complex organic chemical that participates in many processes. Found in all forms of life, ADP is often referred to as the molecular unit of currency of intracellular energy transfer. When consumed in metabolic processes, it converts to either the D or monophosphates, respectively ADP and AMP. Other processes regenerate ADP such that the human body recycles its own body weight equivalent in ADP each day. It is also a precursor to DNA and RNA. From the perspective of biochemistry, ADP is classified as a nucleoside triphosphate, which indicates that it consists of three components, a nitrogenous base, the sugar ribose, and the triphosphate. It is used in cells as a coenzyme. Structure Binding of metal cations to ADP In terms of its structure, ADP consists of an adenine attached by the 9 nitrogen atom to the 1 carbon atom of a sugar, which in turn is attached at the 5 carbon atom of the sugar to a triphosphate group. In its many reactions related to metabolism, the adenine and sugar groups remain unchanged, but the triphosphate is converted to D and monophosphate, giving respectively the derivatives ADP and AMP. The three phosphoryl groups are referred to as the alpha, beta, and, for the terminal phosphate, gamma. In neutral solution, ionized ADP exists mostly as ADP4, with a small proportion of ADP3. Being polyanionic and featuring a potentially chelatable polyphosphate group, ADP binds metal cations with high affinity. The binding constant for Mg2 plus, is The binding of a divalent cation, almost always magnesium, strongly affects the interaction of ADP with various proteins. Due to the strength of the ATP-Mg2 plus interaction, ADP exists in the cell mostly as a complex with Mg2 plus, bonded to the phosphate oxygen centers. A second magnesium ion is critical for ADP binding in the kinase domain. The presence of Mg2 plus regulates kinase activity. Salts of ADP can be isolated as colorless solids. Chemical Properties ADP is stable in aqueous solutions between pH 6.8 and 7.4 but it is rapidly hydrolyzed at more extreme pHs. ADP hydrolyzes to ADP and phosphate. Living cells maintain the ratio of ADP to ADP at a point 10 orders of magnitude from equilibrium, with ADP concentrations five-fold higher than the concentration of ADP. In the context of biochemical reactions, these anhydride bonds are frequently referred to as high-energy bonds. Production from AMP and ADP The hydrolysis of ADP into ADP and inorganic phosphate releases 30.5 kJ slash mole of enthalpy, with a change in free energy of 3.4 kJ slash mole. The energy released by cleaving either a phosphate or pyrophosphate unit from ADP at standard state of 1 mR. These abbreviated equations can be written more explicitly. With a typical intracellular concentration of 110 mm, ADP is abundant. The dephosphorylation of ADP and rephosphorylation of ADP and AMP occur repeatedly in the course of aerobic metabolism. Production, Aerobic Conditions ADP can be produced by a number of distinct cellular processes, the three main pathways in eukaryotes are glycolysis, the citric acid cycle slash oxidative phosphorylation, and beta-oxidation. The overall process of oxidizing glucose to carbon dioxide, 
the combination of pathways 1 and 2, is known as cellular respiration, produces about 30 equivalents of ADP from each molecule of glucose. Glycolysis ADP production by a non-photosynthetic aerobic eukaryote occurs mainly in the mitochondria, which comprise nearly 25% of the volume of a typical cell. Regulation In glycolysis, glucose and glycerol are metabolized to pyruvate. Glycolysis generates two equivalents of ADP through substrate phosphorylation catalyzed by two enzymes, PGK and pyruvate kinase. Two equivalents of NADH are also produced, which can be oxidized via the electron transport chain and result in the generation of additional ADP by ADP synthase. The pyruvate generated as an end product of glycolysis is a substrate for the Krebs cycle. In glycolysis, hexokinase is directly inhibited by its product, glucose 6-phosphate, and pyruvate kinase is inhibited by ADP itself. The main control point for the glycolytic pathway is phosphofructokinase which is allosterically inhibited by high concentrations of ADP and activated by high concentrations of AMP. The inhibition of PFK by ADP is unusual, since ADP is also a substrate in the reaction catalyzed by PFK, the active form of the enzyme is a tetramer that exists in two conformations, only one of which binds the second substrate fructose 6-phosphate. The protein has two binding sites for ADP. The active site is accessible in either protein conformation, but ADP binding to the inhibitor site stabilizes the conformation that binds F6P poorly. A number of other small molecules can compensate for the ADP-induced shift in equilibrium conformation and reactivate PFK, including cyclic AMP, ammonium ions, inorganic phosphate, and fructose 1,6 and 2,6 biphosphate. Citric acid cycle In the mitochondrion, pyruvate is oxidized by the pyruvate dehydrogenase complex to the acetyl group, which is fully oxidized to carbon dioxide by the citric acid cycle. Every turn of the citric acid cycle produces two molecules of carbon dioxide, one equivalent of ADP guanosine triphosphate through substrate level phosphorylation catalyzed by succinyl CoA synthetase, three molecules of NADH, and one equivalent of FADH2. NADH and FADH2 are recycled, generating additional ADP by oxidative phosphorylation. The oxidation of NADH results in the synthesis of two 3 equivalents of ADP, and the oxidation of 1 FADH2 yields between 1 2 equivalents of ADP. The majority of cellular ADP is generated by this process. Although the citric acid cycle itself does not involve molecular oxygen, it is an obligately aerobic process because O2 is used to recycle the NADH and FADH2. In the absence of oxygen, the citric acid cycle ceases. The generation of ADP by the mitochondrion from cytosolic NADH relies on the malate aspartate shuttle because the inner mitochondrial membrane is impermeable to NADH and NAD+. Instead of transferring the generated NADH, a malate dehydrogenase enzyme converts oxalostate to malate, which is translocated to the mitochondrial matrix. Another malate dehydrogenase catalyzed reaction occurs in the opposite direction, producing oxalostate and NADH from the newly transported malate and the mitochondrion's interior store of NAD+. A transaminase converts the oxalostate to aspartate for transport back across the membrane and into the intermembrane space. In oxidative phosphorylation, 
the passage of electrons from NADH and FADH2 through the electron transport chain pumps protons out of the mitochondrial matrix and into the intermembrane space. This pumping generates a proton motive force that is the net effect of a pH gradient and an electric potential gradient across the inner mitochondrial membrane. Flow of protons down this potential gradient that is, from the intermembrane space to the matrix yields ADP by ADP synthase. Most of the ADP synthesized in the mitochondria will be used for cellular processes in the cytosol, thus it must be exported from its site of synthesis in the mitochondrial matrix. The inner membrane contains an antiporter, the ADP slash ADP translocase, which is an integral membrane protein used to exchange newly synthesized ADP in the matrix for ADP in the intermembrane space. This translocase is driven by the membrane potential, as it results in the movement of about four negative charges out of the mitochondrial membrane in exchange for three negative charges moved inside. However, it is also necessary to transport phosphate into the mitochondrion, the phosphate carrier moves a proton in with each phosphate, partially dissipating the proton gradient. The citric acid cycle is regulated mainly by the availability of key substrates, particularly the ratio of NAD and to NADH and the concentrations of calcium, inorganic phosphate, ADP, ADP, and AMP. Citrate the molecule that gives its name to the cycle is a feedback inhibitor of citrate synthase and also inhibits PFK, providing a direct link between the regulation of the citric acid cycle and glycolysis. Regulation 2 In the presence of air and various cofactors and enzymes, fatty acids are degraded to acetyl CoA. The pathway is called beta oxidation. Each cycle of beta oxidation shortens the fatty acid chain by two carbon atoms and produces one equivalent each of NADH and one FADH2. The NADH and FADH2 are used to generate ADP by oxidative phosphorylation. Dozens of ADP equivalents are generated by the beta oxidation of a single long acyl chain. The acetyl CoA produced by beta oxidation can be subsequently metabolized by the citric acid cycle, yielding further equivalents of ADP. Beta oxidation In oxidative phosphorylation, the key control point is the reaction catalyzed by cytochrome C oxidase, which is regulated by the availability of its substrate the reduced form of cytochrome C. The amount of reduced cytochrome C available is directly related to the amounts of other substrates. Which directly implies this equation. Thus, a high ratio of 2 or a high ratio of 2 imply a high amount of reduced cytochrome C and a high level of cytochrome C oxidase activity. An additional level of regulation is introduced by the transport rates of ADP and NADH between the mitochondrial matrix and the cytoplasm. Fermentation is the metabolism of organic compounds in the absence of air. It involves substrate-level phosphorylation in the absence of a respiratory electron transport chain. The equation for the oxidation of glucose to lactic acid is Regulation 3 Production, anaerobic conditions ADP replenishment by nucleoside diphosphate kinases ADP production during photosynthesis Anaerobic respiration is respiration in the absence of O, 2. Prokaryotes can utilize a variety of electron acceptors. These include nitrate, sulfate, and carbon dioxide. ADP can also be synthesized through several so-called replenishment reactions catalyzed by the enzyme families of nucleoside diphosphate kinases, which use other nucleoside triphosphates as a high-energy phosphate donor, 
and the ADP guanidophosphotransferase family. In plants, ADP is synthesized in the thylakoid membrane of the chloroplast. The process is called photophosphorylation. The machinery is similar to that in mitochondria except that light energy is used to pump protons across a membrane to produce a proton motive force. ADP synthase then ensues exactly as in oxidative phosphorylation. Some of the ADP produced in the chloroplasts is consumed in the Calvin cycle, which produces triose sugars. The total quantity of ADP in the human body is about 0.2 moles. The majority of ADP is recycled from ADP by the aforementioned processes. Thus, at any given time, the total amount of ADP and ADP remains fairly constant. The energy used by human cells requires the hydrolysis of 100 to 150 moles of ADP daily, which is around 50 to 75 kilograms. A human will typically use up his or her body weight of ADP over the course of the day. Each equivalent of ADP is recycled 500 to 750 times during a single day. ADP is involved signal transduction by serving as substrate for kinases, enzymes that transfer phosphate groups. Kinases are the most common ADP binding proteins. They share a small number of common folds. Phosphorylation of a protein by a kinase can activate a cascade such as the mitogen activated protein kinase cascade. ADP is also a substrate of adenylate cyclase, most commonly in G protein coupled receptor signal transduction pathways and is transformed to second messenger, cyclic AMP, which is involved in triggering calcium signals by the release of calcium from intracellular stores. This form of signal transduction is particularly important in brain function although it is involved in the regulation of a multitude of other cellular processes. ADP Recycling ADP is one of four monomers required in the synthesis of RNA. The process is promoted by RNA polymerases. A similar process occurs in the formation of DNA, except that ADP is first converted to the deoxyribonucleotide DATP. Like many condensation reactions in nature, DNA replication and DNA transcription also consumes ADP. Aminoacylternous synthetase enzymes consume ADP in the attachment tRNA to amino acids, forming aminoacylternic complexes. Aminoacyltransferase binds AMP amino acid to tRNA. The coupling reaction proceeds in two steps. The amino acid is coupled to the penultimate nucleotide at the three end of the tRNA via an ester bond. Other biochemical functions Intracellular signaling DNA and RNA synthesis Transporting chemicals out of a cell against a gradient is often associated with ADP hydrolysis. Transport is mediated by ADP binding cassette transporters. The human genome encodes 48 ABC transporters, that are used for exporting drugs, lipids, and other compounds. Biochemistry laboratories often use in vitro studies to explore ADP-dependent molecular processes. ADP analogs are also used in X-ray crystallography to determine a protein structure in complex with ADP, often together with other substrates. Enzyme inhibitors of ADP-dependent enzymes such as kinases are needed to examine the binding sites and transition states involved in ADP-dependent reactions. Most useful ADP analogs cannot be hydrolyzed as ADP would be. Instead they trap the enzyme in a structure closely related to the ADP-bound state. 
Adenosine 5 is an extremely common ADP analog in which one of the gamma phosphate oxygens is replaced by a sulfur atom. This anion is hydrolyzed at a dramatically slower rate than ADP itself and functions as an inhibitor of ADP dependent processes. In crystallographic studies, hydrolysis transition states are modeled by the bound vanadate ion. Caution is warranted in interpreting the results of experiments using ADP analogs, since some enzymes can hydrolyze them at appreciable rates at high concentration. Amino acid activation in protein synthesis ADP binding cassette transporter ADP analogs History